We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Pot of... F- F- Pot of... F- I don't know, I was trying to abbreviate it, but it doesn't work that way. Power of the Force Fridays, we are looking today at he who has the head of a yak. Or face of a yak, sorry. It is Yak Face, Salt Moray, as he is now canonically known. Uh, yeah, I'm. this is one that's been sitting on my list for a little while. Um, I don't recall when it was I got this one. some point throughout my adult collecting life um and yeah seems unlikely that i'll ever own a true kenner vintage yak face from the power of the force um so this is going to be my vintage one you know what if i could get my hands on one of the retro ones um that set i don't believe is being released down here in australia the the sort of retro six pack or whatever it was because with mon mothma um if i could get one of those retro yak faces that looks like a vintage one i'll be more than happy to pop that on my shelf with all the vintage kenner figures that's where i've got my tarkin um yeah would not complain about having that version i I, not at that point anymore where i need to have you know a super duper vintage one but this one's cool i like this one this one held me over for quite a few years he's got a little bit of blue tack there on his uh on his junk move that off (laughs) I don't know, there's just something about this character that's, uh, you know, it's slightly comical. There's a little bit of something like, almost Henson-esque about the the mask. It does come with this odd-looking staff, Electro Staff Force Pike. I don't know what it is exactly. It's a staff. The one thing I do like is the sort of the blues, the oranges of the uh, of the sort of the gown. It does have that sort of fur fur there on the chest, which is cool. And the sort of the big clawed hands. You know, and all these exaggerated exaggerated features and parts of the anatomy, and then he's just wearing like some just like size nine sneakers. <laughs> he's just he's got his pants put over the boots just nothing nothing dramatic about the feet there that's what I love that's what I love about Star Wars it's just all these exo- exotic exaggerated looking aliens and then they're just wearing shoes <laughs> but it is what it is it's cool I, I do like this guy a lot he he held the fort for a long time um, as the one and only yak face until this guy came along in the vintage collection and uh yeah this this is i don't know i don't get a chance to look at this guy enough um but he's still one out without a doubt one of my favorites in the vintage collection period um yeah just it took him to another level obviously sort of still getting the look of the face you know just having a little bit more accurate to how he appeared on screen it was a very brief brief moment but still cool you know capturing the sort of the yellowy orange of the robe the sort of the fur around the neck and the chest the blue outfit underneath and some shoes yeah the hands aren't as big as claw like still has those sort of the big nails the almost hoof hoof like Yeah, he is a yakky looking fella. So of course this guy, he's, like I said, this one here did come out in the vintage collection uh, a few years ago now. Um, but the other version I have here is the one that came with the barge. And I know I've got a big ring light in the way and I can't do anything about that. So we're going to hold it at an angle. This is the one that came with the sail barge. Put this in acrylic as soon as I got it out of the box. There's no way this was going to go anywhere else. 
As you can see there, VC triple zero. Comes with the coin. So yeah, the original vintage Yak Face, the Kenner Yak Face would have came on a card. Not unlike this one. Back in 1984-85. Part of the last 17. So yeah, this is a um, you know, piece of my collection that I treasure pretty highly. You know, sort of getting that sail barge back in the day was um or back in 2017. Yeah, getting that sail barge was a big deal. Or was it 2019? I can't even remember. <laughs> That was a, yeah, it was a big deal though. It was, um, you know, that was long desired by many, many collectors. Not an easy one to find now. But, uh, yeah, this guy still holds up. He still holds the fort on the power of the force shelf. He looks good. They didn't go super deep into Jabba's aliens. Aside from, like, the band... Oh, I suppose they did, like, some weak ways in Klaatu's. Yeah, forgot, forget my comment. <laughs> I did this squid head. It's all just sort of racing back to my brain as I start talking and just making me feel like a complete, utter idiot. There is this week's addition to the Power of the Force Friday's backlog of figures. Quite cool, if I say so myself. Alright, next week I'm going to attempt to do something a little bit different. I did try and film this about a week ago. It didn't work, because my phone decided to play up. Um, but yeah, you'll have to wait and see till next week to see what exactly what that is. I'm looking forward to sharing it again. And uh, yeah, I've had a couple of weeks to let it sort of settle from the disappointment of filming. And having it not work. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah i feel like i can feel like i can do it again now so we'll see you next week thanks for hanging out let me know in the comments below what you think and yeah may the force be with you always <laughs>